Daniela Pardo is live right near the scene. And Daniela, that eyewitness is talking to us tonight, huh? Yeah, he is, Chris. We're going to hear from him in just a second. What we know so far is that this happened just right before 8 p.m. here in Modesto on Highway 99 southbound near Crow's Landing Road. And I'm just going to get out of the way to show you the plane itself. It's incredible to know that the pilot was able to walk away. He's doing OK. The plane caught fire after he walked away. And we know that he is a 59 year old pilot from the Santa Cruz area. Now I was talking to a CHP officer who told me that he was supposed to land at the Modesto airport, which is on the other side of the freeway. It's still unclear why he wasn't able to make that landing. We know that the FAA and the NTSB are investigating this incident, but let's go ahead and listen to that eyewitness who saw this happen. We were driving down on the 99 train to Visalia, and uh, my wife saw the this plane coming down, and she said uh, the plane it looked kind of like kind of looked wobbly, and it was really low. But I didn't expect it to go down right in front of us, and then it uh, went down, hit the, hit the freeway, and burst into flames. And yeah, that's when I I got my phone out. I I didn't believe what I mean, we didn't believe what we were seeing. I don't think we can say it enough, Chris, just how remarkable it is that no one was injured. When you take a look at the damage and the people that are down there right now are with a towing company. They just got here. They're going to be removing all the pieces. We were told that the FAA and NTSB are not going to be uh, they're not going to be coming to the scene tonight. As soon as the tow truck company removes all the pieces from the plane, that's when the highway is going to open up again. But for now, one lane did open up 30 minutes ago. Okay, our Daniela Pardo is there live. Daniela, stand by. I want to come back to you shortly. Flames, let's go back out to Daniela now. She is live there on scene right near that plane, Daniela. Just look at that. It is just amazing that the pilot survived. It is, Chris, and we wanted to give you a closer look, so we were able to come down to the freeway. Randy, our photographer, is going to zoom in so that we can show you what's left of the plane. Like we've been saying, the pilot was able to land um, here on Highway 99. He got out, made it okay, and then that it was afterwards that the plane caught fire. And what we know from an officer I talked to is that he was supposed to land at the Modesto Airport, which is on the other side of the freeway. And the FAA and the NTSB are still investigating why it is that he wasn't able to make that landing. But um, right now here on the freeway, we're just seeing a lot of looky loos, a lot of people stopping and not stopping, but just slowing down to take videos and pictures of the scene. Because of course, it's not every day that you see a plane on the freeway, but thankfully the pilot is okay. And we will continue to follow the story, Chris, to bring you any other developments. Mm -hmm. Surreal images there of that plane there along Highway 99.